Hi everyone, welcome to activity 12. In this activity, we're gonna make a flywheel hub by using the revolve command. In previous activity, we created a similar geometry and now you will learn more details about revolve command by creating this geometry. So what we have here is the cross section details of this flywheel hub and all the information and dimensions are available on this sketch. As now you can see that we have the detailed cross section and as we discussed before, whenever there is a revolve involved, we need the half of this cross section. So for this question, I'm going to construct uh, this upper half. Previous activity, we created it from the lower half. So for symmetric object, it doesn't matter. You can choose the top or bottom. Now let's begin. Let's zoom in. This is what we are going to create. And the unit here is in inches. So let me open new. Since it is inches, I will choose English template, standard inches, uh, create and start 2D sketch. I'm going to choose the horizontal and align the top view. And now we can start sketching the cross section. So if you check the cross section on the top, what we have, uh, it's a rectangle and all the sides are 0.5, as you can see it here. So it's a rectangle with uh, length uh, 4 inch and width 0.5. So whenever you see a rectangle, it's better choose a rectangle and finish it rather making it with the lines. So I choose a rectangle, 2 point rectangle and pick this axis somewhere and draw it. So this distance, choose the dimension tool and make it 4 and the width make it uh, 0 0.5 easy as that now check the distance from the axis because distance from axis is really really important when you deal with revolve if you construct something with the wrong distance definitely the hole that you need in the middle will be differ from what you want so the distance that we need to find it's from the top up to the revolving axis so we're going to revolve this geometry based on this axis anyway. So this distance, uh, you can have it from the front view. This is 14 inch diameter and the outer one is 15 inch. So definitely this will be half of 15, which is 7.5. Now you can choose the dimension tool, pick this top side and this origin. I'm going to make this as 7.5. Okay. So we are done with that and I prefer an uh, axis here. We need this axis. This is a must uh, to select as a revolving axis. You can see our line, let it be there. And now return back and see what we have here from the midline. Uh, you need two sides. So you have to find this distance. That means exactly this distance. So if you check the front view, this distance is 14. So half of this will be seven. And this one is four inch. So half of this will be two. So definitely it will be seven minus two, which is five inch. So what you're gonna have here is five inch distance. And one more thing, if you could find the midpoint, you can offset this at a distance half of 0.5 because the total it is 0.5. So we can do this thing in several way. I'm just picking the easiest method. So let me choose a line and we want to find the midpoint. So to find a midpoint, it's easy in Inventor zoom in. You just start from here. When you reach the midpoint, see it's automatically pick. You can see the green color. That means it's the midpoint. Click there, move down, make this 90 degree and make it five. Now we managed to make that uh, middle axis and now what I'm going to do, let me move it a little bit here. I'm going to choose this offset tool, offset tool and pick this. I'm going to offset this thing. The total is 0 0.5. So the half of 0 0.5, it's 0 0.25 this way. And similarly 0 0.25 this way. So we want these two lines. The midline is actually the construction line. And then Let's go and make uh, this bottom rectangle. Let me erase everything. And this bottom rectangle, you can see it is two inch and the width is usual 0.5. 
so let's choose the line and what you can do start from here since the total is 2 I'll make a 1 this way so this will be 1 and move down it is 0 0.5 and return back this is 2 and uh, 0 0.5 again and you can join it here so it is your choice whether you choose line or rectangle so this scenario it's better choose line to align it well so once you finish you can trim these unwanted connections it's here uh, we have to remove this center we don't want this line but if you delete it will delete some constraints so it's better select this one right click make it as a construction line so it will not make any trouble when you choose the profile so what we have we have a full profile and over here we have this thing the center axis of revolve now you can finish the sketch click home button and choose the revolve tool you can see it is automatically picking the profile and now you can simply come here and pick the axis now you can see it is revolved around that axis since there is a distance from the axis it's automatically generate a hole in the middle now we are done click OK and finally we need some holes inside and this is the pitch circle the diameter for this is 10 inch and a circle with a diameter 1.5 so the pitch circle draw first so start 2d sketch and pick this surface inside and choose the circle and make it 10 inch and uh, on this intersection you can draw 1.5 diameter and we need four of them go to circular pattern choose this geometry pick this axis and select the center point we need four of them and click OK. We are done. Then finish the sketch. Zoom in. It's better rotate this thing so that you can easily select the circles. So you know that the shortcut hold the shift key. Click on your scroll wheel then move your mouse. Or otherwise you can come here and choose orbit tool. Choose extrude. Make a cut. It's a full cut. You can choose through all and pick the first, second, third and the last circle now you can see you managed to create the hole and click ok now we managed to make it see the magic of revolve within single click you can almost generate very complex solids here now let us go for the final thing if you check the sketch you can see there is a small key slot here and let us have the details for that one so this key's lower dimensions are here it is 0.25 width and this is perfectly aligned with the center and from this center of the circle up to the top of that slot we have 1.65 you can handle any slot with centered rectangles let me start a new sketch and zoom in i'm gonna pick this surface this is the place that we need a slot let me project this circle and I'm going to draw a rectangle with the center. The third option in rectangle, you can see we can define the center with the one of the corner. So choose that and pick this as your center. Click and simply draw the rectangle. Now check the dimension that what we want. 0 0.25 the total width. Take the dimension. And make it a 0 0.25 so that it will be fine and uh, this distance should be 1.65 so you can choose from the top up to the center we have 1.65 that's it this is moving away because we didn't constrain this center so choose the dimension pick this center and then over here choose the center of this circle and I'm gonna put this distance as 0 if you do that you can see it perfectly aligned here now if you check the dimension this is 1.65 0 0.25 so it is perfect so we managed to make it you can finish your sketch zoom in 
and simply go to extrude and make a cut and should be a throw all cut and then you can pick this rectangle and it will make the cut let us check and you can see it's a through cut and that's it click ok now we managed to finish and the final thing go for the color and what we want is zinc so if you type z you will get zinc that's it now save this this is your activity tool so thank you for watching i will post new videos in this series as soon as possible keep learning